Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and we are doing a Versus series again. This time we're having Marvel Legends, um, the Hand Ninja versus the Cobra, I'm sorry, the G.I. Joe Classified Red Ninja, Cobra Red Ninja, if you will. And uh, both these, uh, one was released last year, one was released this year, so I'm going to really kind of uh, go over the two. Um, and there's several categories we want to look at. Uh, articulation, price slash availability, uh, pain app slash scoped, and then fun factor, okay? So, um, that's what we're looking at first. Um, but you know what? Let's add one more category in there. Let's add accessories, too. We'll add accessories. So, that's another uh, category. And, again, this is my version of this, okay? You don't have to agree with me, okay? I hope you do. But if you don't. Let me know if you disagree. It is your right. It's called democracy. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at both these together and get them side by side. Uh, let's get them in some vanilla poses here. Uh, there's Red Ninja or the Hand Ninja. And here is Cobra's um, the Red Ninja. And after looking at this, I just realized a terrible mistake. Uh, this one has an armband on right here that disqualifies him. So let's use this one. All right. Can't have additional accessories on there to take away from uh, what's going on. So uh, first and foremost, um, they are roughly about the same size. Maybe the hand edge is probably a, a hair taller if he's looking up. Looks like he's a hair taller, yeah. But they're roughly the same size. They both have different shades of red and maroons on them. So that's interesting. Um, they both uh, are, are, are relatively, you know, pleasing on the eyes. Um, I wouldn't mind having any of these figures. Although, um, one looks a little bit more plain than another. But we'll get down to the categories first. So let's look at accessories. So for the Hand Ninja, he comes with two commas. One, two. With paint, uh, with paint's another separate category, and a sword. Okay, so that's a nice. That's three weapons. You know, normally that's pretty good for Marvel Legends. However, classified comes in with one comma, two comma. Not painted though. Uh, a long sword looks like Sephiroth. Some axes, two sides, and whatever this long weapon is. Um, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight weapons. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, that, that category got ran away. So the, the, the accessory category is going to be a landslide in favor of Red Ninja. Okay. Let's take a look at articulation next. Okay. And if you watch my videos, you know, I just reviewed this guy. His articulation is decent. Um, he has a butterfly joint. However, it doesn't go in much. So that's unfortunate. It's just like it's being stopped. Um, some limitations with his uh, robe here. They kind of keep his legs from moving up as much as I would like. And then you got to deal with the, the rubber being bent here. If you do, see, like that, it'll be bent for a little while before I'm going back down. I'm not sure what will happen over a long period of time. Um, he's got some nice, you know, uh, leg joints can't kick up much or his heel won't go up much um, does go down nice and his knees are decent okay a little ugly there but they're decent he's got decent articulation um, was um, not much here in the torso he can't bend as much as I'd like him to so that's that's mildly depressing um, so let's take a look at the Hand Ninja and see if he does anything any better. So Hand Ninja is based off the Snake Eyes buck, so there's that. 
he does have some limitations going up too much higher because he has this um, layover right here that kind of impedes on that. But he's got some nice, he can go in farther than the Red Ninja, more than, ready than 90 degrees. He's got a nice, fairly nice crunch like that, much a little bit more than um, the hand. Let's get him back, going back. Um, can he lean back much? He can lean back a little bit too. Um, there's greater movement in the head, but not by much. I mean, this one, this one's not bad. It's just you can't go side to side. And he, for some reason, mine will not, it's so stiff, it won't lift up much or look up much. It can look down <sighs> fine, but it's not great or amazing. So I don't know what's going on there. But again, the hand seems to have, or the Cobra Ninja seems to have much better articulation uh, let's take a look at his leg oh wow yeah, he can kick up better plus his legs can slot down um so got stuff falling all over whoa you can get quite high and some nice poses man let's see if the red ninja can do that no <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not happening. Whoa, you can do the splits too? That's because those drop down uh, hips. Yep. Um, okay, we're going to call it. So the articulation round goes to the uh, red Cobra Ninja easily, easily. Okay. That wasn't even close. So let's go to the next category. Um, the next category is a price and availability. Um, while last check, these are a little hard to find now, especially if you're looking in stores. If you do want to pick up both of them, you can pre-order them both now on Big Bad Toy Store for $29.99. So they're essentially the same exact price right now um, if you're trying to find them. Um, that is as of today. I know it's a much harder to find either of these in stores right now because people are only building both, especially this one since it's more new. So it's going to go for a tie there. Now paint and uh, sculpt. Sculpt wise, I mean this isn't bad. He's got some nice paint in the uh, in the eyes, in the face. I like that. Uh, some paint on his little buckle there. Uh, there's some on this little rope. Um, I don't understand the. I guess that's fine too here um, on his hands or his wrist. Uh, everything else seems to be cast in a certain color. Uh, the commas have paint to him. So he's, he's decent with paint. Not, not the best. Um, now our Cobra Ninja, he's got paint right there. The black, that black there. I think the black here too. Yep. So he's got a little bit of paint. This was cast in black, so I can't count that. Um, I feel like... There's some paint there. I feel like, and his face is painted. I feel like these are even, maybe a slight notch to paint there. But when you go to, when you start looking at the sculpt, and we're looking at both, look at this. I mean, wrinkles, snake skin, the weapons have sculptures on them. There's some cut marks on the ninja's uh, guard and, and his armor. Uh, there's the ninja stars that are painted too. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, um, the I'm sorry, the sculpt and the paint apps are better on the ninja too. So red ninja's destroying the hand ninja. Last but not least, fun factor, okay? And I'm just gonna put it bluntly, okay? If you need this guy for some cool shots, you know, for Marvel Legends stuff. Uh, that's good. You know, get you a couple of these bad boys. Get you more if you really like them. Um, for me, the fun factor is just not quite there. Um, I feel like he's lacking. Uh, and I have had more fun with these Red Ninjas uh, than I should. I've, I actually bought three of them. And again... I'm, this is not the, the Cobra Trooper, so you can do the same thing if you really want to. And I'm considering getting more. And 
objectively, I, I still have to say that these are just flat out better than Marvel Legends offering. So, yeah. I have to give it to the G.I. Joe Cobra Ninjas. Let me know what you think. If you think that the this guy here is better, let me know. Say, hey, World Breaker Coup, you're wrong. And that's perfectly fine. But until next time, peace and chicken grease.